Hi, Steve Spiker here from the OpenShift team again, uh, talking again about some of the upcoming features in, in OpenShift uh, 3.3 and the uh, open source community origin uh, 1.3. And some of these are um, features coming, so not really slated and confirmed. So uh, what you see here may change some in the final product. So uh, I'm going to show this again in the way of uh, some uh, role, certain roles that people play in scenarios. So now I am Steve, a DevOps engineer, and I just uh, received some code from um, a friend, uh, one of the colleagues, so this new guy, Joe, and it makes me a bit nervous about what he's up to because I heard he may have not, he may have left his previous employer not on the best terms for some of his loose antics. So let's, but I've, I'm feeling pretty confident because I've set up a, a pipeline here to help uh, validate what our mainline code is. So I'm going to go through and it's going to validate a pull request and it's going to build the source code once it's been done some sanity checks. And so here we go. Well, I could do this with kicking it off, you know, through GitHub integrations. I could uh, kick it off manually. I could kick it off on a regular basis. Um, so I'm back to the overview. Like the overview we've seen all before, uh, Joe just had this uh, left-right view of the front-end service in the back-end database. So I have a similar view here, uh, a little different in this environment that I'm working. So this is working maybe more in a team integration uh, kind of environment where I'm actually running the front-end on a in an auto-scaler. So I see it goes scales down to one and goes up to four based on the amount of traffic I receive. At the same time, it's actually... I can see what various uh, pipelines that are uh, currently going on. So a quick summary of what the current uh, latest ones are. And so I see now it's it's moving along the build process here to um, generate, you know, the, the new uh, containerized application uh, image that incorporates the base secure layer that we've had and then also the new application code that flew in from this pull request. And as that's building, it'll um, update, and then the next step in the process will actually trigger deployment. And so we can see that there's a rolling deployment here. So as it's spinning up the new version, it then uh, waits for that to be live and receiving traffic, and then it'll shut down the old one. And then next to my pipeline, I'll do some, uh, have it such that the next stage will do some sanity checking and validate the integration environment uh, through some of the automation I have. So. Through all this, um, I've really been able to, to automate the safe experimentation that new people like Joe come into the platform and I don't have to worry about how they're going to affect my process. I've got a plan in place and a pipeline here to help build an, and I've automated the entire uh, validation, build, containerized image, deploy to an integration environment, and then actually test it. So thanks. If you're looking for this, the uh, next video will, will show how you can get this up and running pretty quickly.